women just before. <laughs> <laughs> that wedding I'll never forget at John and Elliot's. I jumped up, started talking about the wedding, and I, and I said, women first. And I stood up to go get the food. But men just before <laughs> fourth. <I found> <laughs> You like that, eh? Yeah. So now I say, he, she says, men first, I go, but women just before. You, you say that, but then you go go first anyways. Not at African wedding. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're polite there. <laughs> that way. Well, I, know, I know protocol. What is this here? We are cold today. Yeah. This is the coldest day ever at Dashir. The it, coldest morning ever. You need to show them Mount Meru though. Dashir? Turn around and show yeah, them the mountain. I need to show them. And Killy is showing. I need to show them the places. In our cold. Yeah. yeah. Just we'll just turn this around here a bit. You can't see it very well, but Kilimanjaro is out hazily. And Meru. Meru is looking really good. Beautiful. It's a beautiful morning at Dashir. It was down to 13 degrees last night. Where are we going here? This way? Oh, I don't know. There we are. Uh oh. Baro Kidogo. Technical issues today. <laughs> yeah. Issues with it was down to, the yes, right. Yeah, so 13 degrees, the coldest temperature ever. What is the coldest we've had before that? 14. 14. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 13. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because we had pouring, pouring rain yesterday morning. Mm. That came out of nowhere yeah. with the cold, eh? Cold time of the year, rain that we usually don't have. And then clearing skies all night. It was completely clear at night. Yeah, yeah. stars were beautiful. Yeah. Yeah the moon yeah yeah the nice. so, so welcome to sarah and joyce special guests today Thank you. but you're just coming from uh like 10 <laughs> meters away from the kitchen <laughs> all the way from the kitchen of this year to the chat show yeah. so uh so it's very tough even in the village there's no heating in the homes is there please don't brick houses yeah. you don't have any heat how do you stay warm like that's cold, 13 degrees, Arusha is 10 degrees. Oh, we just wear sweaters. Talk, we talk sweaters. loudly, talk, talk loud, yeah. We wear sweaters and sometimes we cover ourselves like I covered my my yeah. body like this. Yeah. Then we get warm and okay. drink a lot of chai every uh -huh. time. Yeah. Hot tea, eh? Helps. Yeah. And then you go tea. to bed, lots and lots of blankets. Yes, yeah. a very heavy blanket. <laughs> heavy blankets. But in uh, Arusha, some people use also fireplace. Some have a fireplace yes. in the house. In the house, really. The yes. rich people. Mm -hmm. Rich people, and then also Poor. people use also gas. Uh huh. Gas. Yes. Gas uh, fireplace. A heater. Heater. Oh, yeah. a gas heater. A gas oh. heater. Heater. None of us can afford that. That'd be a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> for a few only for one month, because this month is very cold. Yeah. But others can be warm. You use that for your dad being so old, 96? Yeah. Can you imagine being 96? Yes. These bones will break. And also, if you can't afford that, you can take your charcoal inside, you light yeah. the fire with charcoal, then you warm your room. And yeah. keep mm -hmm. the mosquitoes away at the same time. Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute, what about those little clay pots we have for heaters that we put for guests? That's the charcoal fireplace. Yeah. How come we haven't done that? Why aren't you bringing that in my house? Okay, if you want, we can organize. Oh, Even yeah. from tonight, if you want, to, that. You, want you get smoke though, too. Okay, maybe, maybe not. If you but not smoke. The time for sleeping is coming. Maybe mm -hmm. you want you to sleep it for 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. You take it out. Because mm -hmm. when you live in room, you mm -hmm. die. Oh, yes. it's From not what? good. For charcoal. For, oh, the the hair you? is heavy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you can't keep it up. Oh, it's a good yeah. way to kill our... Uh -huh. what is <laughs> <laughs> so this time of the year... You, you can't breathe because... Uh, you, it's a good you, way to collect insurance. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> because the house is filling body. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's covered. The is not moving. Yeah. Right. Oh, forget it. So I guess we'll, smoke is I not, guess we'll go with heavy blankets. <laughs> yeah, 
you say you go to bed at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, very early this time of the year, right? Yeah, for why is it? Oh, for the old people. people. Old people. Oh, mm -hmm. and the kids going to school. Yes. So if you go to bed at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, what time do you wake up? Me? Anybody. All the kids? Anybody, yeah. It depends on what you want to do at this mo at that morning. Maybe 5.30, maybe 6 o'clock. But always 5.30. 5.30. They are mm -hmm. for people who are milking cows for ah, tea. Yeah. They are for selling milk. Yeah. Always is 5.30. Never yeah. forget like about that me. milk from the cow. And you, you are at 5.30. Yeah. That's the time to wake Even up. Even sometimes mm -hmm. 5 o'clock. Wow. Yeah. And it's still dark? Yeah, yeah. it's dark. I use a torch. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Flashlight. A flashlight. Yeah, flashlight. You know, there was a time when Simaga went home. Mm -hmm. And we have our cow and it's giving milk right now. He went home and that cow wouldn't give milk for any of the other guys because he knows the smell of Samaga. So the guys are coming to my door for tea in the morning because we make it every morning. And we said, no tea today. Where's your milk? Well, we don't have any. The cow was kicking. And Sarah and the girl said, Wale, don't kid yourself. Those Maasai found a way to tie that. Do whatever they need to do to that cow. Tie its legs, do whatever, hold it down to be able to get that milk for tea later on during yeah. the day. Tea is very important here. Tea yes. Yeah. Also, otherwise, you can take the, 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 the cloth of the one who is milking it every time. So when you wear it and they smell you, so they can keep warm. Yeah. So they like so the you smell. can milk. Yeah. yeah. So can because they simaga. get used to that yeah. person. Yeah. So you have to wear the cloth of that person. Yes. Can, hey. you, can you milk? A cow? Very much. Very yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> Joyce? I cows. You yes. too? Yes. Simon? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mama? Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> if the cow is yeah. crazy, you die. I've Two done hands. it. Yes. Yeah. I've okay. tried it at my aunt and uncle's, yeah. uh, Uncle Billy's, I do, I when don't they know. had the farm. I don't know how to <laughs> do it. Before they got the milking machines that go like this, the suctions yeah, to lift it. Exactly. And then yeah, did it. Yeah. No, no, no. It was a machine. Yes, I and know. And steel, I and it's suctioned on. And then it goes down a pipe into the big yes, thing. Yeah. I remember when my uncle Billy and Dora <laughs> had that, and I would watch. But before that, we try by hand, but I'm scared of the cow kicking. Sometimes they mm. kick it. So the, the, the good way to make it, not to kick it, you tie, tie. in there. The legs. Or you the make, legs. you mm. put them on a crash. Yeah. Then you tie the legs and then... On a what? Mm. Mm. Crash, right? A crash. Just you build something to make... Yeah. Just tight. Like so they can't yeah. move. Yeah. So yeah. Tight like really. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, milk in Tanzania, they're going to do anything to get that milk. Yes, we like our milk. Yep. Yeah. We like our tea. It's so good. we can't miss so the milk. Do you have a cow? Yes, I have. With my mom's. At your mom's place? Yeah. Where do you get your milk? At oh, your home? by now I'm just making... I'm... I'm, I'm Taking milk from other people. Okay. Oh, from, the from, neighbors. Bill, yeah. from the neighbors. From the neighbors. Bill, yeah. And this year is okay for milk, right? Because yeah. of lots of rain. Lots of rain, lots of grass. Yeah. So milk is. So you have milk much. in the morning with your chai? Very at, much, yeah. Oh, Every day. That's good. Mm -hmm. Joyce? Oh, sorry. Yes, I have. But right now, it's a lot of cows. They're very sick. The cows are sick? Yeah. Because of the cold, cold. or? Cold, yeah. Cold. Ammonia, yeah. cold in yeah. the chest. Mm -hmm. Do they get corona? No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Joyce has her own cows. You milk your own, right? Yes. <laughs> corona. <laughs> no corona. Their feet, when they are walking, mm. it's walking like a Jose. Because of oh. mud. Yeah, yeah, mud. Right. It's called foot and mouth rot. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's their mouth wet. come so like, uh, like zip. Mm. So mm. they can't eat and their legs yeah. and their coronets stuck together so it was sweat. a boil yeah. yeah so they can't walk they Boy. suffer and okay. rather they die yeah. and even in masaini if there's lots of mud and water and they're walking oh, they oh, can <laughs> whoa That's good little fly oh, yeah. <laughs> they they will walk in the mud and they can, you can even laugh full out joyce it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny that was actually on the pit me you and your glasses <laughs> he's being polite <laughs> doesn't want to laugh um, at me but <laughs> they're walking in the mud in masaini and they actually can break their legs in that mud too that's a big problem yeah because yeah, yeah, it's deep yeah. during rainy season april yeah. or may or november so whose job is it to milk the cow in the, in the tanzanian home is it is it the man's job or the mom's job or 
the kid's job. Mom's job. Mom's job. The cow, milking the cows for the mom, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what does the dad wake up and do? Daddy Wait for the tea. is <laughs> Simon, <you're laughing. laughs> Wait for the tea to be made. They Daddy. just wait, wait for the tea. tea. Uh -huh. Or maybe they go plowing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes Saturday they help me to push the grass in the stable. In the stable. Yeah, yeah, in the stable. Oh, okay. In the stable. Yes. To feed the that cows. That is small, small, yeah. Because it's okay. two cows, sometimes three cows. Yeah. Yeah. They okay. help me, yeah. Okay. Do you, do you ask him to do that or does he do that by himself? Sometimes he's do, but sometimes I make you wake up, please. <laughs> you wake him up? Yeah, wake up. Can you help me? Sometimes you say yes, sometimes no. Yes. Ah. Okay. Okay, don't ask for try tomorrow. <laughs> okay. And I teach you to, 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 to make me. So, I, so I, think, I think we should have Mama do a Tanzanian week where she wakes up, milks the cow. Gets the food ready. Five thirty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we okay, wanna, that we jug that comes full of milk. If I go, <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> There'll be like maybe a quarter cup of milk after I give up. Yes, but if mm -hmm. like that, you'll spoil the cow. Oh, because it needs to be milked all the way. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Oh well, no, no. It. There'll be some man standing behind me carrying on. Like a battery. Oh, yeah. so. Like a battery, you have to use it all up so it gets more power next time. And yeah, you got to yeah. remember, the cows here don't know the smell of me, so I'm going to be kicked. Just we can teach, though, if you're willing to be. Not even once. No, there's I don't think so. We'll give you mutuais. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mutuais at home. Give me your clothes so I smell like and you. And the first time is not easy. It's hard. Because sometimes the cow is kick you, and you put the sometimes basket down and touch again, mm -hmm. and kick you again, mm. like uh, maybe five. It's dangerous. Yes, yeah. it's dangerous. Sometimes yeah. you, they smell all the milk, so oh, you got nothing. That I know. Yeah. I was just yeah. waiting for that story. <laughs> yeah. they kick you your every cow milk. has its own temperament too. Some yes, are some yes. are nice. Some it's are like. Mm -hmm. It's like this time of year in Canada when you go camping, we would collect fresh blueberries or wild berries off the trees and we'd pick a big pail full, ice cream pail full of, four liter pail full of berries. And then Daryl, we were camping with our kids. Why he, are you going there? I have to say this. And he put the pail <laughs> underneath the car for shade so that nothing will happen to that precious bucket. It took hours to pick those berries. You know what happened? When we're leaving for home, he drove over the bucket. I put it behind the tire to have shade. Don't forget. You yes. Forgot? <laughs> <laughs> Crushed. You Crushed know how many hours that took for blueberries? You know how small they are. Yeah, we for sat, yeah, busy, busy for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> That's busy it. for nothing. Sarah's favorite line. I say, there went all the blueberries we're going to make muffins and pies with. Gone, and it took a long time to pick. Well, them. let's move on okay. to. Uh, we were going to talk today about uh, school, back to school, Tanzania's back to school, but we got into on a different track, milk and cows and work and cold here in Tanzania. So it looks like we'll have to do a part two to this uh, to this this year chat. But just to start off, Sarah and Joyce, your kids are back in school now yeah. for three weeks now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, well, they're, they're okay in the school. They enjoy it. They are very happy when in the morning when they leave, they got their chat.